Testing, one, two, three. Microphone. Testing, one, two, three, testing. It's working. Okay, now it's working, yep. Yeah. Okay. Done. Okay, go. Hi guys, sorry about that craziness. I literally plug in and play usually and today it was like, no, I don't I don't feel like it. Sorry guys, thank you, uh, 4G for letting me know that it was working. Alright. Now maybe we can get to the game. <laughs> Okay, so no one heard my spiel because 
my audio decided to just give up its life for no reason. So we're going to try that one more time. Hi, everybody. I'm Nikki. Thank you for joining me in the Cozy Cove. Thank you for the three people that stayed and were patient for that nonsense because uh, I was not expecting that at all. Luckily, I have tech support nearby. Uh, <laughs> but uh, today in the Cove, we're going to attempt to finish Botany Manor. I was just delayed by 15 whole minutes, but uh, I was probably going to be stuck with on a puzzle for half an hour anyway, so it evens out. <laughs> so we're going to try and, and finish this game today. Let's go. We left off in Chapter 4 in the library, assuming it doesn't throw me back to I don't know when or where. Let's see. That's fine. Thank you for lurking. Appreciate the lurkers. Oops. Okay, now that I'm not going to cause a disaster with my plugged in controller. I can actually start. All right. My goodness, what a what a night. <laughs> what a night. All right. So I'm gonna try and make this a little better. Uh, I got my bubble tea with me, so that'll make me happy. <laughs> and uh, let me know if the volume is good or not, and I will fix it accordingly. Let's see, where the heck are we? I don't even remember what I was trying to figure out, so we're going to have to figure that out also. Hold on one second. Why am I not hearing my... See, now I'm not hearing the game. There we go. So many fun audio problems today. <laughs> okay, now we're good. Now we're fully good. I hear the movement. Okay. So, Grandma's research. Grandma did research, too. Okay. Um, hi everybody, welcome in. Thank you for joining us in the cove. Uh, nightfall progress. Okay, oh yeah, we're, we're gonna spare my eyes, although this is a lot closer than when I did it on Wednesday, because my TV is nowhere near my face, whereas this monitor is. Um, I'll, I'll try reading it like this for a bit, but if I start straining, I'm gonna have to use a text overlay again. So, I've been trying to encourage the nightfall to bloom for a little while now. I'm determined to prove it's more than just a myth. So far, I have deduced that the flower opens at sunset and only during a particular time of year. When exactly that occurs still remains a mystery to me. I shall plant a few more seedlings tomorrow and continue my research. Tasks for this month. Monitor nightfall seedlings. Rose planting list, I believe that says. Collect field samples and seed collection. So this is Grandma's list from her research. So let's see. All right. I imagine that'll be a clue at some point. I am still like, this is going to be an interesting color puzzle is all I can think this is going to be. Um, September 12th, August 8th. So like they're going up in like, like later in the year because that's May 1st. That one's going, that's later in the month. That's July 8th. And then we went from July 8th to August 8th. Yeah, so it's... I don't know. Oh, wait, there's more on this wall. Huh? I knew that. Never mind. Oh, wait, this is October? That's out of order, and the next one's April. Oh, okay. I have no idea what those sunsets are about. We will figure that out as well. What's this? London record. Ooh, an old newspaper. Hey, Christina, welcome in. Lindley appointed chair of botany at University College London after an esteemed early career as assistant secretary to the Horticultural Society and admission as one of the youngest ever fellows to the Linnean, Linnean Society, John Lindley plans to elevate the science of botany. He spoke thus in his inaugural, is there more? Yes, lecture. It has been very much the fashion of late years in this country to undervalue the importance of this science and to consider it an amusement for ladies rather than an occupation for the serious thoughts of man. Oh boy. <laughs> 
Lindley also challenged the Linnean classification system and propose, proposes many changes. Okay. <coughs> we shall see. Uh, it's going better now. I don't know if you were here right at the beginning, but I spent like 15 minutes trying to fix audio. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, otherwise, everything's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't think there's any more clues in here. I mean, uh, other than the paintings, which I imagine are all a whole set of clues that I cannot figure out right this second. Um, but I love this hidden room in the library. This is just so cool. I already saw this. This was the puzzle to get into the library. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah that was, it took a minute. <laughs> it took a bit to fix, but that's okay. We got it. We're here. We're live. We're doing it. <laughs> Probably going to be here till midnight with these puzzles confusing the hell out of me, but that's okay. Um, hmm. Let's see my book. What the heck do I have in my book? Why am I in chapter two if I'm in chapter four? How did that happen? Okay. Uh, nightfall. So I have Grandma's research for the nightfall. What else did she say? But wait, the sunset paintings have to do with a flower. Hold on a second. Whoa. These are the nightfall seedlings, right? Okay. I already read this, but oh, open the sunset. Okay, so these are. Oh, so they all have to do with this seed. Hmm. What the heck do these? All these paintings of, of sunsets have to do with the seed. Okay. That's going to be real interesting to figure out. Okay. Cool. Oh, I have the room for the study. I mean, the key for the study. Where's the study? Let's find out. Let's go find it. I don't think I've seen a room that said study anywhere. Or anything even remotely, like, hinting at this may be a study. So let's, let's look around. Let's see what I find. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else up here. I'm going to double check. Oh, we have this too, the, uh, the invitation to find a husband. That was funny. <laughs> you won't find a husband at the bottom of the garden. That was fun. That was very funny. That made me laugh last week. Last week? Wednesday. Whatever. I'm losing track of my days, guys. It's, I, if I told you the number of stupid questions I asked my boyfriend today, it would make you all laugh. I, my brain has not functioned today, so I don't know how I'm going to do a puzzle game of all things, but we're going to try. How much of the game have you finished? So I'm on chapter four, and there's five chapters in this game. Um, so I'm mostly done, I say hesitantly, because there's a lot of plants in this chapter. Um, oh, there's a study. And I'm, I've been dumb. If you saw Wednesday, I am, I am dumb, Christina. So <laughs> um, enough, <laughs> still. Oh, I read this already. Um, that's why I said we're going to try and finish today with uh, maybe streaming till 11 or midnight, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how long this takes. Because I kind of really want to finish this game today. So I want to play a new game tomorrow. So we'll see how much I can get done. Yay. I love the pretty success music. I hear it so rarely. <laughs> okay. What's in here? My dear friend, I have been pondering these last few weeks what could be the best way to see your remarkable flora reach the wider world. Since it is so seldom we are able to see our work published, considering your uncle's reputation in the scientific field, have you considered asking him to publish your herb herbarium? This word trips me up every time. Under his name, it may not give you the recognition you deserve personally, but it would be a way to reach your goal of adding to the scientific record on botany. Do consider it. I would hate for such important research to stay hidden away. With war warmest regards, and. She could have used a pseudonym of her own. Again, she won't get the recognition, but at least it was her name and not like her uncle's name. But, oh, I guess that's her uncle, maybe? Question mark? Maybe not. Maybe it's just a book she likes. Metal Orchids of Britain, collected and researched by Professor J. Oh, no, that was the guy she went on the uh, field trip with. Never mind. The field research trip. Never mind, never mind. I knew that. And, of course, only the men get the credit for that book because it's... 1890 currently and I think they went on the next what, when was that field trip it was like 1862 or something so yeah she's not getting recognition for that all right so we got the sapphire gloom I just saw this morning actually on Peyton's stream that she got the forgotten flora book and everything from from the company and like and one of the pretty cards she got was this one the sapphire gloom so we'll get to see what it looks like once I 
grow it. So that'll be fun. I have not found any clues. That is okay for now. <laughs> We're gonna sit. I always forget I can sit in the chairs. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I can sit. I like the views. And I think the music is louder when you sit. Like, it's actually like restful or peaceful. So that's kind of cute. Okay. Back to serious business though, guys. Mushroom food sources. I wonder what this is a clue for. <laughs> Just like plants, fungi need food sources to grow strong and healthy. However, some fungi haven't always had access to nutrients through soil and have evolved to retrieve it in different ways. Uh, next. This means they have become carnivorous. Oh, because they only acqui acquire the nutrients they need by consuming other living organisms such as flies, bugs, and plants. Oh, interesting. Mushrooms are carnivorous. Okay. Some mushrooms even get their nutrients from feeding on other type of fungus or parasite. Ooh. Mushrooms growing on a tree is usually a sign that they are consuming the tree. Oh, that makes sense. So you should remove them immediately. Not always the case. Did she write that in the book? Is that her handwriting? Did she, like, correct the book? I love it. All right, let's see. What's, what's this letter? Arabella, I have some more books from the department that may be of interest for your research. One I recall was a favorite of your father's. If you have any trouble when you visit the college, tell the secretary you are collecting materials for your uncle. Oh, no. So so long as they are returned before summer ends, the other professors won't notice. <laughs> Best of luck with your research. Uncle Theodore. I like that he supports her, though. That's sweet. That's nice. Thank you, Theo. <laughs> Theo, Theo. <laughs> Sorry. That was, that's a Spanish joke. Anyway. Um, okay, that just closes the door. Is there anything else actually research in here? Oh, duh. I passed the whole dang table. All right. What? The? Oh, tree diseases. Oh, joy. We have to learn about tree diseases? Okay. Uh, red tree pox. If a tree is infected with red tree pox, many small red spots will be visible on the bark. You usually be cured by adding fertilizer to the soil of the tree. Hypoxylon causes black patches to form. Sounds like it's lacking oxygen, no? Hydration. Okay. So oh, okay. And won't stay alive for much longer. Root parasite. Ooh, purple rings on the bark and roots. Oh, that's what's on the tree. I'm slow. I'm sorry. That tree that creeps me out <laughs> and is like dying. Okay. Oh, of course there's no known, known cure. Why why would there be? I probably have to find the cure, don't I? Is that the end goal of this game? I wonder. To find the to cure the tr the dying tree in my living room or whatever, my foyer. I think it's a foyer, technically. It's not in the living room. Okay. Um, so, very important. It's a fungus that forms purple rings on the back. Bark. The back. I'm from Boston. I didn't know it. <laughs> on the bark and roots. The parasite <laughs> leaches the nutrients that the tree retrieves from the soil. Eventually causes the tree to dry out and lose all of its leaves. There's currently no known cure. Yep, that's, that's, that's what's on my tree outside. It's disgusting, but that's what it is. What the... Golden mallard egg. Wait, I could just pick up each egg? Why? Okay. This better be relevant. <laughs> I'm picking up every egg. Let's see. Hold on. Crested owl egg. Oh, an owl egg. Kingfisher egg. Speckled sparrow egg. That was just fun to say. Quail egg. I've seen quail eggs plenty. Shoveler duck egg. Okay. A red-billed moorhen egg. Is this one just a chicken egg? Nope. Shell duck egg. Blue heron egg. Look how pretty blue that is. I love the pretty blue. Okay. And a river swan egg. This one's a little bit speckled as well. I do not know why she has eggs in her. Is that like, are the eggs going to cure the tree? Is there like an egg that'll cure? Like a, I don't know. Is that part of the antidote I need? I don't know. Okay. Alright, let's see. So... I definitely have the mushroom book for that. What the heck? I have no idea. Eat the eggs. <laughs> the eggs are apparently a clue. So, for what, I have no idea at the moment. I can't even... I genuinely can't even fathom what the heck the duck eggs are. Or the, whatever, the eggs are a... Uh, look at this. The heck are the eggs a hint for? I don't even know what to do at this point. Okay. Um. I, I don't know. 
let's go back to the mushroom book real quick. Um, see if we can figure out more about the sapphire mushroom. I mean, are the eggs still a living organism? Like, am I supposed to feed the mushroom that? Um, do I grow the mushroom on the tree that's dying? I don't know. I don't know what, what I'm talking about. I'm losing my mind. Um, da -da -da -da, let's see. Are there any nutrients from feeding? Yeah, okay. Okay, and then is that, I assume this is the book that her uncle's talking about, right? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something again, guys. I don't know what it is, but I'm missing something. Let's go to the ugly tree that I hate. Let's see. I don't want to go, but let's see. Maybe I missed something that was there because I was, like, trying to stay away from it. <laughs> is that possible? I assume. Look at this nasty tree. Look at it. It's so gross. I hate it so much. Oh, there is a spot to plant. Look at that. Look at that. Great. That, the, God, that tree is nasty. Okay, that's not entirely helpful, though. Hold on. Because then... Thank you. Thank you. And I need the mushroom seed. Thank you. Water. Okay. I don't know how to make it grow more, though, unless I just need to, like, put it here and it'll figure itself out. Yep, that's it. Wow. I didn't even use the other clue. I was just like, that's the answer, right? Did I cure the tree? <gasps> it's so much for- Yay, I don't have to look at the disease tree anymore! I won the game right there. I don't have to look at the disease tree anymore. I win. <laughs> that tree was freaking me the hell out, so good. I win. I'm done. Cool. I could the game could have ended there and I'd have been happy. Okay. Wildly misunderstood mushroom. It grows commonly on trees and is opposed to popular belief. The mushroom uh consumes its parasites rather than the tree itself. Oh, that's so smart. Okay, well I guess the other hint was the tree diseases, so there we go. Look at that. So still don't know what the eggs are for yet. We'll figure it out. Who the heck? Hang on. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, that's so much prettier now. Look, there's there's a whole tree growing in my house now. That's so much prettier. That does not answer the question of where the eggs go. <laughs> hmm. Am I stuck again, guys? Let's we'll see. I did this. That's easy. That was the easy one, I guess. Um, boop, boop. Hold on. Do I have to pick you up again? No, right? I can leave you there. No, I can leave you there. So I don't know where the master bedroom is. I have not found that either. But I have to, I imagine, find a key for it. It's not here. It's the painting room. I've been this way. Did I miss a room? Actually, I don't know what's... I haven't been over here in a while. What's over here? Is there another room over here? No. Nope. Okay. Heat the eggs. So all the other rooms must be upstairs. Oops. And Oh, it's probably the end of the... Oh, oh, but the tree's not blocking it anymore. That's what it was. I remember. I was like, the tree's blocking my way. There we go. New parts of the house, guys. New parts of the house. I knew I was missing something. Oh, wait, wait. Eggs. I see eggs. I see the pretty owl eggs, more specifically. With the cradle fern. Oh, it's a crate. I get it. Ha, that's cute. It's a cradle. Look at that, guys. Wait. Is there something else I could do? No, it just tells me what it is. Okay. Zoom. Okay. <laughs> no silliness. So that is this one. Okay. So now we know the bird eggs and the fern painting. Go with that one. Ta -da. We're finding the clues slowly but surely. Find our way. 
What's in here? Can I open it? Is it locked? Can I even select it? There we go. Oop, something's in the trash. Aquatic weed removal. Do you have a pond? Do you want to swim in it? Is it covered in slimy weeds? Ew. <laughs> Great advertisement. We are spe we are specialized in removing the following weeds. Sorry, I've, I've been watching too much husband and now I'm saying advertisement. <laughs> anyway. Um, Himalayan, Himalayan, whoa, balsam, brook chalice, duckweed. Make an appointment today. Um, anything on the back? No? Okay. I thought she maybe used the back for like notes. That's happened a couple times. Oh, we got more seeds. We got fern seeds. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Mm. Petition to be presented to the Honorable House of Commons. In recent years, hunts have been taking place near the Somerset rivers. Tragically, this has led to the decline and even extinction of some bird species. Oh, no. No longer can we hear their beautiful chime-like calls. We call upon the government to regulate hunting near the rivers of Somerset. We ask, oh, she signed it, that they respect the breeding times of wildlife. If you agree, please sign below and return this letter to us. No expense attends signing. Your signature, Arabella Green. Very nice. But she didn't return it. Hmm. All right. The Trapped Fairy of Folktale. Last time we had a folktale, they were very important. And, I've, and it was story time. Welcome back to story time, guys. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little fairy who loved gazing at her own reflection in the water. She lost track of the time, and the day turned into night. Nyx, goddess of the night, noticed the little fairy. The moon was shining bright, but the fairy only had eyes for herself. Nyx took offense and decided to punish the little fairy. Nyx placed the fairy into a nightfall and cast a spell on her. She fell in love with the moon and gazed upon the sky all night. As dawn approached and the sun arose, the spell broke. Though just as the fairy awoke from her enchantment, the flower bud closed and trapped the fairy for eternity. Whoa. Well then. That's not very nice. Okay. Well, that has to do with the nightfall. Um, flower, obviously. <laughs> I, oops, that's not the right one. There we go. I don't know what the... Oh, the petition was for the birds. So that's for... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That's for the fern. No. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what the petition is for. It might also be for the birds, right? Because they're talking about ponds. Not sure yet. We're going to hold on to that clue for now. Not sure yet. Nothing on her bedside. What's this? Is that a cat? <gasps> Look at the baby. My dear Nova, never forgotten. Baby, no. This is a little, little, little grave for her. Oh, my baby, no. That makes me so sad. That makes me sad. Alright, what's this? Whoa. <clears throat> Dearest friend, it seems our interest in visiting the private plant collection of Lord Spencer has gone unacknowledged. While disappointing, I am not sure it is worth pursuing scientific study in such places. On my recent visit to Brinsby, the young man showing us around had barely a basic knowledge of plants and due to there being a large group of gentlemen in the party, all useful time and, whoa, irritation was devoted to them and none given to Constance and I. Let us plan another trip of our own and perhaps we can see these specimens in their home habitats where they belong. Ever your faithful friend, Eliza. Mm. I don't know if that's just a letter to read or if that was relevant. Can't can't tell. Oh, there's another room. Wait, what are these? Tincture of red clover. Medicine. Chamomile on red clover seems to soothe hot flushes. Does it though? Does it really? Essence of ar ar arnica? Arnica flower? Arnica? For sprains, strains, and joint pains. 
<laughs> I mean, she is like 55, guys. In the 1890s, so. Yeah. Oh, I got a little private bathroom. What the heck? Are you telling me I gotta repair this? What? Come on. Oh, boy. All right. A hot bath at the turn of a tap. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's the turn of the century. The number 30, bath geyser. Provides a rapid flow of hot water. Simply turn the tap and instantly hot water will appear. Can be used multiple times in a row without any extra cost. Great. Any any instructions on how to put this nonsense together? No? Okay. Cool, thanks. Fill bath. Yeah, that's not going to work. Not with the pieces like this. I mean, I guess it shouldn't tell me theoretically as it's supposed to be a puzzle, but like, man, what the heck? Can the pieces just go anywhere? Hello? I want to select you. Why would I flush the toilet? Like, what, pur what purpose would, what would that do for me? I don't know if this is right at all. We're going to, we're going to find out. What's this? Wilson Plumbers, dear Arabella, here is our quote to repair the geyser in your bathroom. The code, the co whoa. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the cost might seem high, but trust us, it's a complex job best left to the professionals. Have a nice day, Frederick. Installation of disconnected pipes. 14 silver, question mark? Pounds, silver, and I don't know what the B is, maybe? I, I don't know if I'm right or not. I'm just... I want to assume, but I don't know. Well, either way, I'm putting it together myself, apparently. Let's see how complex this system actually is. Probably very, knowing my luck. I mean, they're mostly, they're mostly like these L pipes. Or I forgot. I really should know what these are called after living with my dad for so long that I don't remember. They're like joints. Um, but, I mean, they just fit. Oops, if I could do that. So, like, how that wasn't hard... I don't understand. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's do 60 degrees. Oh, I see. I gotta put a... Oh, I gotta put a flat... Nope, nope, nope. Fill, don't fill. Unfill. <laughs> Unfill. Drain, please. Thank you. Oh, I have to submerge a plant. Okay. I don't know which one yet, but uh, I, fi I fixed the tub. I thought she wanted to take a bath. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... What other clues do I have? Jesse, uh, um, well, this one's a sunset plant, so that would have to probably be, I don't know, I have to mimic sunset, because the time, there's no time shifts in this game. So, I don't know. Hmm. Where's the attic? <laughs> Bath geyser. <laughs> I don't know what that one's for yet. Maybe it's the cradle fern. Do we do we think maybe it's the bath geyser in the petition? Let's see. Are we right? Nope. Because <laughs> if we were, it would have closed. It would have done all the pretty music and set in place. So that is not correct. Check. Um. Hmm. <laughs> How do we grow that one? How do we grow it? Alright. I love that she just has this right outside her bedroom. Because it's that important. It really is. Alright. I don't know if we're doing the cradle fern or the nightfall next. So I don't want to plant anything yet. Oh, there's the attic. Was there anything else I missed here though? Because I feel like I only went down half the hallway. I feel like I did not. I just ignored this entire half of the hallway. Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, there's a trap fairy in a painting. So, again, has to do with the nightfall. Oh, there's... No, that's yet. Wait, what the heck is the other one then? All right. Letter about weeds. Okay. Dear Starabella, I was taking a walk along a river in Somerset recently and noticed a site that I just had to write to you about. In the water, I saw the brook chalice blooming. Ah, there, there we go. There we go. See? That's the bath's for. I've never seen or heard of it flowering before. None of my books mention of it. It was so beautiful. Do you have any idea what could have caused this? Ever your friend, Edith. Okay, so this is wrong. 
that goes here. All, all the other ones go here, basically. The petition, the weed removal, the bath, the letter. These all go here. Fairy painting is the first one. We need so many more clues for the nightfall. My goodness. We're almost done with the brook chalice and we're almost done with the fern, the cradle fern. But that the attic is locked. But there was a staircase over here. Wait, what's this? This is the hallway, right? Yeah, I'm dumb. That was the that was that was the staircase. I'm very confused. So what in the heck is this room? And what is that if it's not an attic? If it doesn't lead to an attic, what the heck is that? Man, she got chairs everywhere to sit down. De uh, dear Lady Arabella, I wanted to thank you once again for your invaluable contributions during our recent meadow or gid research expedition. Oh my god, my mouth does not want to work with these words. Your keen observations and deep knowledge of orchids was so helpful. Your dedication to the field is an inspiration to us all. I look forward to future collaborations and the continued exploration of the botanical wonders that surround us. I will put in a good word for you with the Botanical Society. Most sincerely, Professor, Professor Montague. Did it help me any? Probably not. Oh my god, there's so many things on the wall. Oh, there's the attic key. Yay. Good. What in the world is all this? Somerset River Trust? Okay. River swimming this season. Dear members, we want to make sure you can all enjoy swimming this summer, so we have cleared the most popular rivers in Somerset of all aquatic weeds. Which is probably why that plant doesn't grow anymore. The river, the river cam, is that what that says right now? The river cam, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, the river chew and the river summer, summer have all been cleared of weeds thanks to the services of Clark's Aquatic Weed Removal Company. Thank you for your continued support. Thanks to your monthly donations and rivers of Somerset are clean, Somerset are clean and weed free. Okay, monthly donations check. Okay, whoop. Do not swim in the following rivers. The River of Cam, the River of Summer, and the River Chu. We just had this, so yeah. Um, I imagine that was before, right? I don't know. This just says April 1890. Oh, this is August. Oh, no. So it was clean and clear and they could swim, and now they got a government notice in August not to. There's a health and safety warning. Oh, my God, guys. Guys, we got more Downton Abbey tea here. Man, can't. It has been brought to our attention that the factory of Barton Ironworks has been illegally rivers across Somerset. Oh my god, how disgusting and rude. These rivers are now polluted with rust, making them unsafe for swimming. Hmm. Do not swim in the following rivers. River Cam, River Somer, River Chew. The river Frome was also affected by the waste, though oddly the river is completely clear of rust pollution. We are still researching what led to that effect. The mayor of Somerset. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna take a chance here and say those two have to do with this. No. Man, something else is wrong again. Oh, it's, I'm in a bell tower? Maybe the bath guys are just not for the, Okay, I don't know. Guys, I, the clues have got me confused. <laughs> Oh, and what the heck is this? Wait. <gasps> it's a musical game. It's a musical puzzle. <gasps> and one of the plants is going to grow from a musical puzzle. Which one? Maybe that one? Because that one the sun sets. So it has to be that one, right? Unless that one's the bath and this one's the sun. The, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. I'm bird calls. Oh, so it's the fern. Okay, so it's the fern. That kind of makes sense, to be fair. Is there more? Oh, there are more. Well, the crested owl was the one in the picture. That was the egg in the picture. So let's do that. I have absolutely no idea what else. 
I'm still missing two clues for that one. That's crazy. All right. Well, we got to go to the attic. Because that's where the last seat is. And I imagine there's more clues there as well. I'm mad this woman has a bell tower. Like, like, and there's another room here still. Oh, my God. Rooms upon rooms inside rooms inside rooms, man. What is this? Oh, the rivers. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so the river cam is on the right. Length is 11 miles. Average temperature is 5 degrees Celsius. One bridge. These are going to be important. I see cam, somer, and from that they mentioned, but I don't see chew. So that's interesting. From was the one that didn't have any problems. And that one's 27 miles long. 25 degrees Celsius has four bridges. And then the river somer is seven miles long 15 degrees celsius and th has three bridges i find it interesting that this game is in the uk we're set in england we're we're talking in uh you know celsius yet it's in miles that doesn't make sense but okay anyway so we have that clue which i mean that has to go with this Sorry. Nope. Wait. Huh? Wait. Did I mess up? I mean, I messed up somewhere, clearly. But where? I'm not sure. Let's change this one. That's not that one. It literally can't be. And there's so many things about the weeds that I'm like, that has to be this one. I may have to reset all of these clues because I'm, I'm very confused. All right, next. Letter about melodies. Ooh. Dearest Arabella, I am writing to share with you an exciting discovery I have made in my botanical studies. It turns out that some plants are particularly sensitive to sound and seem to thrive when exposed to music or melodies from their natural environment. I hope to share more of my findings with you in the near future. I would be delighted if you could join me in my research. Your sincere friend, Marianne. Man, I wish I could write that pretty. That is so pretty, her handwriting. I want to write like that. Alright, is that the only... Those are the only things in this room? Okay. I don't know what the heck this room was, but... Oh, wait. No, that's on the outside. Never mind. That's the stuff that's out, that was out here. I read this right? Yeah, I'm on to you. Okay. Um, Alright, to the attic. I think that's everything. Um, I do know that the Credo Fern is going up in the bell tower, so I can put that there for now. I kind of want to test my... I love how the little fern grows. That's so cute. I want to test my theory and see if I'm right. Um even without all the clues, without all the answers, but we'll see. I might need more hints. We'll see. Um, e, C, D, E, G, F. E, C, D, E, G, F. E, C, D. Remember that, guys? E, C, D, E, G, F. E, C, D, E, G, F, guys. All right, let's see if I remember. E, oop. E, C. What was it? E? G, G, F. Did I do that right? Did I mess it up? I might have messed it up. <laughs> Did I mess it up? I messed it up. <laughs> See, I said it like six times and I still messed it up. <laughs> Hold on. E, C, oop. E, C, oh my God, I can't write. E, C, D, E, G, F. Okay. One more time. Because I'm dumb and I wrote it wrong. Or I, I, I remember it wrong. E, C, D, E. No! I meant to hit G and I went too far. No! Boo. Boo. That was, that was awful. <laughs> okay. E, C, D, E, 
G. No, F. Yay! We did it! If I hadn't messed up the first time, we would have done it the first time. <laughs> Woo. I did that with three clues. Am I getting smarter? <laughs> Is that what's happening? Am I getting smarter? Alrighty. I assume we still have to find those clues. But... We can go to the attic now with one more plant done. Got two more plants to grow. And I'm... No, no, I'm not certain of anything. Let, let me not say it. I'm never certain. Okay, unlocking. Uh, what's this? The flower growing companion. Moths, wait, what? Okay, so sometimes a moth can become trapped inside a flower bud if it closes in the- Oh, it's the nightfall, because it trapped the fairy. So it's talking about it's trapping the moth now instead, but all right. The moth is then forced to use the flower bud as a resting place until it opens again later. Some flowers only bloom for short periods during the year, so if the moth is unlucky, the flower bud won't open again until many months later, and I assume it's dead by then. Okay. Oh. Oh, gross. Moths. Joy. Um, I'm not going to memorize that. Wonderful. I, I, this is my least favorite flower now. I, I hate the nightfall. I don't care how pretty it looks when we're done. I hate it. I already hate it. Nope. I don't like it here. All right. Moths. 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 <laughs> Everything moth. Oop, wrong way. I forgot to put the melody hint here. Okay. Still missing one even though I already finished it, but that's okay. Up we go. Is this the end of her house? Oh, wait. Is that how I'm mimicking a sunset? I guess. I, I don't know. What is that? Inspect Rusty Pig. Why do I have a Rusty Pig? What the heck? You Wait, whoa, wait. There was something written on it? Barton something something. Barton Ironworks. Thank you. <laughs> it tells me. Okay. Weird. Moths are better than butterflies? Okay. The sight of plants. Some scientists have theorized that plants have photoreceptors in their leaves and stems, which allows them to see the color of light. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Something funny just happened. Anyway, this means that flowers can tell the time of day and know when to open or close their buds. The exact time that flowers bloom is different for each flower, but most do appear to respond to light and the color of light in some ways. Okay. Horticulturists and botanists have made use of this knowledge to trick difficult flowers into blooming at any time they like. Okay. So that's definitely the nightfall. <clears throat> Where's the wind coming from? <laughs> It's like my attic busted open or something. Like I hear wind. I don't know. Okay. Another letter. Oops. Too far. My dear niece. Um, I fear the window may be closing for you to find a suitable husband. Oh, not again. I have arranged a dinner for you to meet my neighbor's son, Edward. He is successful in business in London. Your cousins William and Thomas may well aspire to become accomplished scientists, but for you, Arabella, it is better to make yourself useful in the small duties of life, for which you will be loved and appreciated. Your studious nature will no doubt be valuable should you have a son, but it would be foolish to allow such a folly to come before the important things in life. Oh my God. I am confident this is what your parents would have wanted. Dinner will be fr from 5 o'clock on Sunday. Remember to wear a becoming dress. Yours very sincerely, Aunt Agnes. Oh, they're all rude to her. Every single letter except the cute, I, well, I assume he's cute, suitor that wrote to her and was, like, enamored with her. Everyone else has just been, every other letter's been rude. Like, they all belong in kindling. <clears throat> um, that's not a hint, though. Like, like, come on. Oh, the duckies! Are the duckies important now? <laughs> now that I've found so many in the house. They're cute. 
Oh, here are the seeds. Yay. Okay. Louis still don't know all the clues, apparently. He's like, I haven't filled in all the right clues for this plant. Yeah, no, duh. I got that. Thanks. <laughs> Mm. Oh wait, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, guys. This one doesn't. That well, oh, God, I keep pressing the wrong button. This one doesn't go here, guys. This was about the. Why can't I remove it? Sorry, hold on. This is annoying me. There we go. The, the petition was about the birds, guys. Nobody told me. Nobody said anything. It's about the ducks. It goes here. Guys, none of us are paying attention. <laughs> there we go. Now everything's in the right place. Okay. And that one has already been grown. This one I know how to grow. This is the one that goes in the bathtub. Though I'm going to have to look at the... <laughs> Moss acute? No, definitely not. I am going to have to go back to look at the river poster... Uh, because it's, uh, what river was it? The from? Yeah. And I need to make sure that the bathtub is that temperature and then that should grow. What else we got? The Botanist Digest. This month in conversation with Professor, 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 I can't speak, Professor Montague, leading expert in British meadow orchids. In his words, every plant, every leaf, and every meadow holds secrets waiting to be unlocked. My aim is simply to uncover some of those mysteries. You mean my aim? Wait, there's more. I thought that was the end. Professor John Montague, renowned botanist, sheds light on his groundbreaking work in the world of M Mador? Medor? Orchids. I thought, did I read that wrong before? No, meadow orchids, but here it says like Medor, Medor orchids. Weird. And other botanical wonders. And with decades of research and numerous publications to his name, Professor Montague's contributions to the field have been nothing short of revolutionary, including discoveries of new species such as the nope dic dactylorza montague wh whatever or hood marsh orchid cool thanks bye <laughs> cool thanks i'm out um i don't think there's anything else in here <clears throat> we gotta go get the other flower obviously to plant here or to put here project slides oh that's cool <laughs> And it gives me, oh, I see, I see, I see. Yellow picture slide, orange picture slide. That's going to be easier said than done. Okay. Magic lantern property of Arabella Green. <laughs> Cute. Okay. Let's go back and do the water plant that we know how to do. But first... Not there. Where was it? This isn't that other room that I was like, there's a room inside of a room. It was over here. Yeah. This is also why I leave the doors open. I'd be confused about where the heck I was going if I didn't. Okay, 25 degrees Celsius is the average temperature for that one. I think. If I'm correct about which one it grows in, which I believe I am. Wait, I forgot. <laughs> Moon walking back. I forgot the plant. <laughs> How was I going to do anything without the plant? Okay, and that one is the last one. No. Wait, what? Hello? Oh, there's no soil. Ha! Huh? Dumb. Stupid. That one. Alright. Water. Okay. Back to the bathtub we go. I said 25 degrees Celsius, right? Dunk. Okay. Um... Down, 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 down. Oop, too far down. Up. Alright, 25 degrees Celsius. Fill. Twenty five degrees Celsius isn't hot, is it? Because that's a lot of steam. Okay, well it didn't grow. So I messed something up. <laughs> Hold on. Hold please. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Let me see what her friend wrote again. Let's drain that. Leave the plant. <laughs> you gotta love the chamber pot under the bed. There's a toilet here. What happens if I flush the toilet? Anything happen? No. 
just makes a, it's just a fun thing to do. <laughs> that's that's a weird thing to add, but okay. Um, her friend's letter was over here. I think it's this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second. Oh, that's the bell tower. No, it's the attic. Never mind. I thought it was something else. I was like, wait, am I somewhere? No. Yeah, and, okay, uh, remember in Somerset recently, she didn't tell me which one, though. In the water, I saw the book Child's Blooming. I've never seen or heard of a flower before. Okay. Got that. The only safe one to swim in, they said, was from, didn't they? The river from was also affected by the water, though oddly the river is completely clear of rust pollution. I imagine it's because of the flower, right? So what did I do wrong? The river from so it's average twenty five degrees Celsius. I'm very confused now. Hmm. I could try one of the other ones, but I don't think it's gonna be right. We try the other two, but I don't, that doesn't make any sense. Unless this thing is a weed, in which case it could be either one of the other two, but that doesn't give you a definitive answer either. Let's see. Makes no sense. I mean, obviously, it makes sense. There's an answer to the puzzle. I just haven't figured it out yet. Ouch. Hmm. We're just going to keep trying things. <laughs> I feel like I have the answer, but it's not. It's not coming to me, guys. We got two plants today. Is this where we? Is this where we fall off to? Two plants. Let's go back to the clues in the bedroom. Whoops, about the weeds. Is this one of them? Um, no, this was a complaint letter from her friend. <laughs> this is the story of the trap fairy. It's all on her desk. <clears throat> this is, no, this is the petition for the birds. So it's this thing. Okay, yeah, so it is a weed, Brooke Chalice. Okay. At least that's what they're calling it. Oh. Wait a minute. 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 Did I miss an important clue? Am I dumb? No. Okay, that's not there. Never mind. So. <clears throat> Let's go back to the where they removed the weeds from because I thought it was they said it was Cam Chu and yeah Clark's aquatic weed removal yeah they've cleared the aquatic weeds from the River Cam the River Chu and the River Summer they've all been cleared of weeds. The rivers of Somerset are clean and weed free. What am I missing, guys? Rivers of Somerset. 
or so much, 15 degrees Celsius. I did 5 and 15, and that one worked. I did 25, that one didn't work. What am I missing? Do you think the uh, length has anything to do with the temperature? Average temperature. I mean, it's an average, so it's not like the same every day, obviously, but in summer would be hotter, I imagine, because this was like August when it was like, it's not safe to swim. Hmm. And I thought, like, the river from, you know, if the weeds grew back or whatever, that got rid of the rust pollution. But I did the temperature for from first at 25 degrees Celsius, and it didn't work. Unless I didn't set it to 25 somehow by accident, but let's see. Oops. Well, we'll save while we're here. We need a hint system. <laughs> In Celsius, I'm not crazy. At least not that crazy. 25. Like I did this already. I don't know what this good this is gonna do, but we're gonna see. Oh, hold the phone. Hold on. Uh huh. I can't grab these though, can I? Like to take? No. Never mind, I had an idea, but no. Poor cat. Oh, the. Mm, it's in the attic. It's in the attic, guys. That's not the attic. The attic's this way. It's in the attic, guys. I picked it up and I wasn't messing with it. It's in the attic, guys. Okay. All right. It's in the attic. I went too far. It's over here. Why can I pick this up, guys? Why? Why can I pick this up, guys? <laughs> That's what I missed. It's the missing piece. You've heard of a rubber ducky, but this is the rusty pig. We. I don't know how close it has to be, but there. Fingers crossed. I hear pretty music. Yay. We did it. I don't think she's ever going to bathe again now, but you know, it's pretty. She needs a whole new bathtub now. <coughs> yep, and it cleared the pollution. We figured it out. <coughs> took so long, Shy. That took so long. It occurred to me. It said the rust is gone. Hello? I was in the right river. I just forgot the rusty pig upstairs. Uh, filters the water from rust and metal. Unfortunately, they get removed often, as most people prefer their ponds to be weed-free. Oh. All right. That's three, guys. Um, do I have all the hints for this? I mean, I'm out of... I found everything, didn't I? Oh, I guess that. What was the side of plants thing again? The heck was that that I just added? Okay. Oh, the slot, the, the, the thing. Okay. So, I'm not gonna lie, I did not figure out this puzzle in the slightest. <laughs> I really don't know what the right, like, coloring is supposed to be, or anything. Um, I know some of it has to do with the moth thing I wanted to ignore, and I know I can't. Which sucks. 
Um, this just shows me night, so it doesn't tell me, like, um, this thing says that sunflowers only bloom for a short time, the moth will get stuck, we know this. Inside flower above it closes in, okay, wait, if it closes in the morning, so that's not sunset then. Also, how am I supposed to know which moth? Did I have a hint that was like, that showed me a moth? Uh, oh, wait, 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 the painting, the painting, the painting, the painting, the painting, the painting. Yeah, she's a moth, I guess, or she's a fairy, but she has moth wings. It's like, it looks like a cheetah print moth, what the heck? I don't want to look at this too closely. I think it's the second one. The eye... What is that? Hawk moth? I don't like looking at bugs. Um, what did I say? Eyed hawk moth? Yeah. So the eyed hawk is visible from April to August. Hi, Lamario! Welcome in! <clears throat> So, I'm just trying to figure out puzzles and hurting my brain. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so she did have a painting in October, but that wouldn't have worked. There were multiple paintings in August and July. There were none in June. There were a few in May and one in April. And there was down a little. Uh, it's also yellow. Is it supposed to be yellow? Is that just the answer? Because I feel like that's too simple. Let's, let's, let's try. I feel like that's way too easy and I'm missing something big again, like with the rusty pig. <laughs> the rusty pig, I'm so mad that that's what got me. Oops, didn't go in the spot. There we go. Uh, no, not the pixie tears. No, I didn't need that one. I'm so sorry, baby. I have to compost you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. Nightfall. That's all I wanted. How are you, Lemuria? How are you today? Water. <clears throat> what's what's everybody doing this weekend? Let's talk, chat. What's everybody doing this weekend? All you've been listening to is me struggling to solve puzzles, but <laughs> tell me how you're doing and what you're doing this weekend. Wee, up I go. Where am I going without the plant, guys? Like, guys, yup. Yeah. Yell at me. I just, I'm leaving my plants all alone, never to bloom. Ooh, a long nap sounds so nice. I've had a very long day. A long night nap sounds amazing. Although at this hour, it's going to be a very long sleep <laughs> at this point for me. I'm good. I had a very long day. Like I said, it's it's been a day. It's been a week, really, but you do nothing, Shy. You're such a liar. I'm, I'm boring. I do nothing with my life. All right. I feel like it's definitely not going to be the yellow one, but I'm going to try it. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. No, it's the... Oh, I know it's not because the, the paintings had multiple colors. Oh, my God. My head hurts already. <laughs> okay, hold on. I got to go all the way back down to the painting room because I told you there's no way I'm going to remember any of these colors and puzzles and what the heck okay oh let me run so this doesn't take another half an hour oops running into walls the painting room is on this side of the building this place is enormous over here yep here we go but that's not where they are because i'm stupid and they were upstairs weren't they Ugh. Guys, my brain, I'm serious. What is happening with me today? No plans for this weekend that I know of, anyway. Just grocery shopping, I need a little boring life. I mean, after I feel like after a certain age, don't we all lead boring lives? I mean, we just kind of do adult stuff, and adulting is not usually fun. But it's necessary, and you know, it's how we live. <laughs> it's not over here. What am I doing? Sorry. Alright, guys, 
What the heck am I doing? Help me out. Where the where the heck were the paintings? It's on this floor. Oh, it was in that hidden room in the library. I'm dumb. I got it. I got it. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. We there we go. Uh huh. I got it. Okay. So we know. See, the problem is if I have the wrong moth, all of this is screwed up and wrong, and I'm gonna be here forever. Oh no. This sucks so much. Okay. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna take some pictures real quick. So I've gotta keep running back and forth and we're gonna attempt attempt operative word to figure this out. Nope, the nasty monster this way. <laughs> this door is in my way, but I don't want to close it because I keep running through it. <laughs> That's okay. If it makes you feel better, I'm lost too, and I'm the one doing it. I'm not like bad at the puzzle. I mean, I figured some of the puzzles out, so I'm not that bad at it. But like, it's definitely kind of throwing me for a loop here a little bit. Uh, why can't I scroll down? There we go. I don't want this. Go away. I don't want you. Okay. Okay, so let's start with April. I'm only going to look at the ones that I know she has um, paintings for. I don't think she has paintings for June, but we're going to do it anyway. And, and I know she has, not September, she has October. Uh, okay. And I think, because I, I could still be wrong, but the clues are the story which we get this, we know the story. I don't think Grandma's research said anything about, but I'll go check when I go to the, count, the paintings. I don't think it said anything about that. The sight of plants, we know like it closes, it opens, we, or we know that was trap moths. Wait, what was the sight of plants? What is that? Where is that? Is that upstairs? I genuinely don't remember. Yeah, it was this thing. Right? Yeah, the sight of plants. Okay, but this is just based on, like, we know that the time of day is important. Okay, but we know that already. It's what is the time of day is the question that we're trying to answer at the moment. So if I'm not totally crazy, this picture is leading us to the moth that we need to use and that and those wings oh i'm wrong see this is why i said let me go back and check uh that is not the second one is the fifth one which is an emperor moth now that i'm looking on it you see because i'm looking i took a picture so i'm looking on my phone and on this monitor and i'm like okay i'm comparing it because there's no way Leopard moth, yeah, basically. I'm telling you, those are like leopard. Anyway, um, so it's the emperor moth. No, no, it's not. Wait, I can't read the number. Is that seven? I can't read the freaking number on this thing. Hang on. Let's go back to the chart. Although the chart is hard to read too, to be honest. Like, like guys, what number is the... Oh, that's the garden tiger moth? Okay, the one all the way on the right, um, third from the top. I think that's a nine. And if it is, then the, and I think it says garden tiger moth, but it's very hard to read. But it goes across, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So that should be nine. So we're looking for the garden tiger moth, guys. That now we know for sure. And if I'm wrong, I give up. <laughs> and we'll look it up. Because <laughs> this one is a very long puzzle with my phobia in it, and I don't want to do it anymore. No, three is. Three doesn't look, three is the one all the way on the right on the top. That doesn't look anything like the picture though, but it is really hard to read. Okay, so I'm going to go to Garden Tiger Moth and hope for the best. So where is, where the heck does it say Garden Tiger? Garden Tiger, anywhere? anywhere? And that makes more sense too than the Eid Hawk because that one's under so many months that like, how would you ever figure it out? So this kind of makes more sense too, to be fair. 
the heck is it? Garden Tiger, September, the only month I didn't photograph. Because I was like, no, it's not September. Stupid. Okay. Garden Tiger is in September. Is that the only month it's in? I didn't see it anywhere else, but I'm checking again. <laughs> What's funny, Shy? Garden, 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 garden. I don't see the word garden anywhere else but right there. See, that narrows it down. Okay, now we go back to the paintings and pray I'm not wrong because this would suck to do again. This, yes. I was like, this is not the library? Question mark? No, it is. Okay. Running into walls. Running into walls. Okay. So these were May, July, May. It's on this wall, right? August. Yeah, there's only one for September. September 12th. So we need blue, yellow, orange, red in that order. Check. The only month. Yeah, I mean, it's the only September on the whole wall, too. So, like, I, if you're narrowing it down by, like, one, there's only one for August and one for September, I think, or one for June and one for September. Yeah, and one for October. The other ones have multiple paintings, so, like, it can't be that. You'll never narrow it down. At that point, now you're guessing. Guessing is not a puzzle. So... Now that we've logically figured it out, I think. Uh, I can't I can't judge my logic too well to be fair. Let's go back upstairs. Wee this is some terrible running into things. Okay. I took a picture of the portrait of the sunset portrait. So it's blue, yellow, orange, and red. So let's see. Blue. And it should be in that order because it slides that way. So blue. Sound effect is bothering me. It sounds like a s wind is coming through. Oops. Orange and red. And this theoretically, let's hope I'm smart. Yes, there we go. Okay, chapter five. Here we come. I have no idea where we're going from here. Ooh, look how beautiful this flower. I still hate it. I still hate it. Moths. I have to hate it on principle. This was the worst puzzle for me. But how pretty is that? Oh, my God. Thank you for the heart, Shy. I assume that was you after the hell yeah, but maybe I'm wrong. Seeing the night flower bloom is a rare event. The flower only blooms at September sunsets. Night pollinators activate... Active in September, such as the garden tiger, often get trapped once the bud closes for the rest of the year. Oops. How pretty is that? I hate you, you evil. Ah, see, I was like, I don't know what to do next. Gatehouse delivery, of course. I hate this evil flower. Okay. Anyway. Now let's go see what we got delivered. I don't know any other rooms in this house, so I can't imagine what the heck else is getting delivered. Maybe there's something else in the grounds? The grounds are big. I might have... Oh, I think I did, yeah, the orchid room. The orchid area, I forgot what it was called. The orchid area in the, on the grounds is was locked. And we have not gotten there. I don't even remember where it was. It was just on the grounds. I think it was on the left, but we'll see. No, the left was just a little resting spot. Never mind. But either way, we're going to go get our delivery. Of like, what I assume, I can only assume is another key. Oh, and a letter. Yep. Oh, wait, what? Formal garden. Oh, yeah, I did see the formal garden. I was like, what the heck is this? Uh, oh, an apology. What the heck? Lady Arabella, I apologize wholeheartedly for accidentally taking the key to the formal garden home with me. It was in my pocket, and I had simply forgotten it was there. It, I didn't want to disturb your research, so I've left the key in the basket here for you. Jimmy. Who the heck is Jimmy? Thank you for the key, but who the heck are you, Jimmy? All right. To the formal garden. Wherever the heck that is on my on my ground. Somewhere. This is where the orchard was, right? No, this is where the initial greenhouse was. Never mind. I'm crazy. Cuckoo. That's me. Cuckoo. <laughs> Anybody else hear the cuckoo or is it just me? Because I heard cuckoo. Alright. I don't believe it's on this side. I think this was like a just... Oh, wait. What the heck? I don't remember seeing this door. 
locked from the other side. I do not remember seeing that door. What? Have I been here? This is gorgeous, by the way. I love this whole water feature. I, I love I love this. Like I just want to get married here. This is so pretty. My goodness. Okay, let's see. What the heck's up here? Anything? Anything? No? Oh, is this the... This isn't from the terrace, right? No, I can't even get over there. I have a freaking table in my way. <laughs> Who put a table there? They're like, you can only go one way, and it better be the right way. Okay. I guess. Alright, let's go out the back. Question mark. I, I don't remember where any of anything is anymore. So we're going to go back here. Uh, I feel like it was that gate over there. I don't remember. Am I right? Do you say formal garden? Yay. Okay. I've been wondering what that is. Because I'm like, what is a formal garden? What makes it formal? Climbing up. <gasps> There's a picnic. This is so cute. With a quail leg. Look at that. Anyway. That's so sweet. Who set, who set this up? Alright, let's see. Um, it was a message. Local man reports mystery signal. Okay. A gentleman farmer has reported sightings of mysterious blinking lights coming from caves near his home in Cheddar? Cheddar? <laughs> is it actually just pronounced Cheddar? Because I, that's how I'm reading it. In his own words, I was walking my dog and lost track of time a little. It soon became dark. And I decided to make the walk back home. On the way to my house, on the way, why did I say that twice? On the way to my house, on the way to my house is a tiny cave. And as I walked by, I noticed a blinking light pattern cast front the cave entrance. I was sure it was one of those Morse code messages. When, oh my god, am I going to have to figure out freaking Morse code? Holy hell. Kill me now. <laughs> when I approached the cave, uh, the light source vanished and... Nobody was there. I'm convinced that what I saw was the Morse code abbreviation for attention. Yes, because I know what the hell that is. I will never forget that one abbreviation, as it was the first message I ever learned in Morse code. How nice for him. I don't know what it is. Hang on a sec, guys. I'm going to get cozier here while we finish this game and grab my blanket, because... This is such a nice chill game. I got tea. I got a blanket. You know, we're nice and cozy in the garden here. In the nice little botany manor garden. In the formal garden. This isn't very formal, but it is very comfortable. All right. Back to the game. Did I finish reading that? <laughs> My bad, guys. Um, local authorities have assured our journalists that they ha there have been no recent military activity or shows in the area, so the mystery remains unsolved. I know I said that terribly. Sorry, I just was like reading fast. What the? Um, did I have a pool or a bit really humongous fountain? Like what? What happened? Okay. Okay, so there's more potting soil and, and seeds and stuff here. So we're just gonna boop. I don't know what seed yet. I haven't found one yet. Oh my god, there's so much more to explore. Holy heck. Too much. What's this? Mr. Bennett. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this is this from his lady love? No, it's Jimmy. Okay. I was like, are we back to the drama? No. Mr. Bennett, the telegraph you ordered arrived while you were at the farmer's market. They delivered it by boat. I left it at the boathouse. There's a boathouse? How big is this place? Oh, my gosh. I didn't know where you'd like to keep it. There appears to be a Morse code manual inside the case as well. God, no. Not Morse code. I never learned Morse code. No. Why, why are you doing this to me? Why? Okay. What is this? Tips for growing hydrangeas. Oh, I do like hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are beautiful flowers that contain anthocyanin which is a pigment pigment that can change color depending on the pH level of its environment. Ooh, fun. The colors can vary between red, purple, and blue. Anything else? No? Okay. Oh, I have different pots now. 
Okay. New materials for garden pots to suit all gardens. Terracotta, granite, sandstone, marble, and obsidian. Okay. Well, all I've been using is the terracotta. I like the obsidian and the marble. Those are pretty. Mm. What in the... What in the world? Okay, so we have seaweed. Wood ash. If you don't know what guano is, please go look it up because I'm not going to tell you what it is. Manure. You really should know what that is. Coffee and peat. I think it's peat or piet. Wow. That's gross. Okay. Um, I, I don't like it here. <laughs> I don't... I don't want to do it. Okay, I don't want to touch it. All right, what in the world? Oh, the military codes. No. This is what's going to make me hate this game at the end, huh? This nonsense <laughs> that I don't know nor understand. Oh, uh, communication over long distance. The method of communication. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read all this to you guys. I'm just not. We'll, we'll take what we need from it when I got to come back a bit eventually for it. Or let me, I'll just take a picture. And we'll, we'll have to come back. Save us some running time. Oh my lord. That's a lot. That's that's a lot. Smoke signals. I love it. In ancient Rome. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Okay. That's that's a lot of reading. Also, fifty four, fifty five. How did fifty seven come before fifty six? What? What happened when they put this book together? Okay. Moving on. My sweet Hazel. Oh, more tea. We got the tea. Are are you keeping well today? Jimmy's only gone and broken the lawnmower again. If it weren't for my war injury, I wouldn't be letting him loose with the mower. He said he ran over some hard object down in the long grass near the pond. I had a brief look and couldn't see anything. Sometimes I wonder about that boy's sensibilities. Save me some of your lovely scones. Yours always, Mr. Bennett. Oh. Well then, Mr. Bennett, you want her stones, I see. Alright. I already read that. And it's over here. I imagine the boathouse has to be this way because where the heck else would it be? Oh, seeds. Spring dance shrub. Oh, and here are the three plants that we gotta figure out. Fool's Emerald. I love that weird ivy. I love the way this looks. It's very cool. I can't pronounce that. What is that? Ocelet? Ocelet? Uh, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that says. Someone help. I don't know what that says. <laughs> I can't read that. The heck did that say? Okay, um, there's, uh, wait, what's up here? I didn't go up here, did I? What's up here? I'm trying to do, like, one piece at, why is this bird screaming at me? Can, can I help you, bird? The heck? Oh. I guess. <laughs> that's okay. I mean, it has the text overlay, at least, so that's really handy. I have no idea. I mean, I can obviously move it, so I imagine there's a reason, but like, what the heck? Oh, here's the other side that I couldn't open. So let's just open that right now. This is nuts. This formal garden kind of reminds me of uh, a garden I saw, a garden that was in the back of a hotel in Italy that I was at. This is what this kind of reminds me of. Oh my god, there's bird things everywhere that I could put that thing. Yeah, I don't know where it's supposed to be, but... Uh, Dear Miss Green, I have recently heard of your involvement in the mentoring of aspiring botanists. Yeah, it's a Lumeria because, like, this was hard for me the other day when I was reading it, um, because my TV is a lot further away than this monitor is right now. Um, I just did that. I was like, I'm gonna save my eyes because it hurts 
Um, but now that I'm right in front of it, I can kind of I can read it easier. <laughs> but if that's better for you, like, and you don't want me, want to hear me talk, I can do that. <laughs> so, but yeah. Botany is a field that demands a thorough understanding of its complexities, and while I admire your dedication, the saying, the blind leading the blind, does come to mind. All jests aside, I do hope your endeavors in mentoring will yield some semblance of progress. Sincerely, Professor Thornton. All these professors are so rude. My god. I know it's 1890, but my goodness. Like, what absolute jerks. Was I up here? I was not. <laughs> oh no! Diabetic guys, no! Okay, fair enough. Oh no, though. I'm sorry. I don't know what that's like, but I know what allergy eyes are like, and those suck too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna do the... I guess one of them is like the hydrangea with the pH balance, so it'll give me a different color. Okay. What about this other thing back here that I cannot aim at? There we go. Oh, it's giving me the pH of the actual... Of the, uh, what you call it? Of the pots and the different soil thing, soil additives. Interesting. Oh, I made these notes. Cool. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can put any of these clues together. Because I really don't know at the moment. Oh my god, that's crazy. I'm so sorry. 70 inches is huge. I am so sorry. That's crazy. I don't know what that's like, so I'm so sorry. Um, I really genuinely don't know where any of these clues go. Which is crazy, because I just read all this and I'm like... I don't know, am I like missing the right clue that tells me where to start? Like, I genuinely don't know where those clues go. And I feel dumb now. Alright, we're just gonna... Onward. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh my god, I could put that bird feeder anywhere. It has to be a purpose though. You know, see, here's... Uh-huh. Mixy for garden birds. Thank you. Yeah, when your blood sugar gets really high, it can make your pupil swell up. Oh my god, I didn't know that. That's crazy. You gotta keep those blood sugar levels down, girl. You gotta work on that. Oh my goodness. Wait, what'd I do? Where'd I go? Please don't tell me I glitched out again, I swear. <gasps> Did we glitch again, guys? Where did the bird feeder go? Guys. What happened? Hello? Are you invisible? Man, I don't know what to do with it yet, but I'm gonna need it. Damn. <laughs> what the heck? Did I go this way? Did I come from this way? I think I came from the other way, but same. Yeah, same thing. <clears throat> Not again, guys. I can't do this again. <laughs> oh, I got another key. The boathouse, of course. <clears throat> I cannot believe this woman has a boathouse here. I mean, I, I definitely don't got this if something vanished and it glitched out on me again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to restart the, the, not the whole game, but like, I'm gonna have to restart the game again. Reset it. Cause that's crazy. Okay, pretty flowers. Attracting birds with color. Okay, so we're trying to attract a bird, I guess? I don't know. I think the bullfinch, I think. I think the bullfinch is the one that was screaming at me when I came in. It was that one of the robin for sure. I just don't know which one it was, but somebody was yelling, just screaming at me. Just like bees, birds can pollinate flowers, but did you know that birds have a preference to pollinate flowers of certain colors? The above chart shows which color of flowers attract which birds to your garden. I didn't know that, but thank you. I mean, I knew that they could pollinate, I didn't know that colors mattered. <clears throat> Sorry. 
All right, let's let's see. Uh, what else is here? Can I have my little sun hat? <laughs> no. Okay. Did it magically reappear? No. Damn. I tried. That's crazy. How have I had a glitch per stream right now with this game? How? Wait, is that the one I left? Yeah, that was the one I left. See, this thing. What? What is this thing that screamed at me? That's a robin, right? Those are brown feathers. Just checking. Yeah. Yeah, it's a robin. That thing is screeching at me. Alright. <clears throat> nope, that's the wrong way. How do I get down to where I think the boathouse is again? Where the heck is that? I've lost track of where the heck I am. Every everything is blending now. Hold on. Is it this way? Yeah. Oh my god. There's so many flowers and so many things and everything's green. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Alright, let's go down here. That's peaceful. Oh look another of her uh, easels. Another one of her easels is set up over here. Let's see. What was she painting? Oh, that's really pretty. <coughs> Unfinished painting. Yep, yep, that's, that's what it is. Thank you. No clues here? Just the unfinished painting? Okay. Anything over here? Yep. What's this? Phenomenon of spiritualism. Do you... Whoa. Dearest cousin, whilst I hold a deep fascination for the pursuit of knowledge and science, I must admit that my sub the subject of spiritualism is not one that particularly captivates me. Therefore, I must return this book to you. However, I appreciate your efforts in sharing your interests with me. With affection, Arabella. Oh, I'm sending it back. <laughs> Oops. Ooh, the will of a wisp. The will of a wisp. I can't say it right, but the will of a wisp. Where's my Scottish boy? The will of a wisp. <laughs> Glowing spirit, uh, nope, nope, we're gonna, we're sparing my eyes on that one. Oh, nope, not that part. <clears throat> Glowing spirit of marshes, forests, and caves. The will-o'-wisp is an eerie apparition that has long been, blah, has long been the subject of both fear and fascination. It makes its appearance to lost travelers in dark, isolated places and beckons them to follow with its beguiling, blinking light. Many a wanderer has followed the wisp's alluring light across marshes, or into caves, never to be seen again. Take heed, those who venture into dark places resist the temptation of the will-o'-wisp's shimmering radiance. Turn back before it is too late. Fun. I love that. Also one of my favorite uh, Pokemon status moves, will-o'-wisp. Anyway. <laughs> Off topic, but yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess this is the broken lawnmower he was talking about. Wait, what the heck is that? The hell did he run over? Inspect ha handle? Handle for what? Okay, well, I can pick it up, which means it's for something. I just don't know what that something is yet, so let's walk with it, I guess? I have no idea. I kind of don't want to come back if it's something for the boathouse, so I'm just going to... Please don't. Please don't glitch on me, because I'm doing too many things while holding this. Please don't glitch on me. Okay. I see a little water symbol, so, or at least what reminds me of a water symbol, so I want to believe it's for something in the boathouse. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Open. The Morse code thing. No, I'm running away. <laughs> I'm gonna put it down there for now. Because I feel like it just belongs here for some reason. Potting soil. Preparation. <coughs> Let's see. What the? Can I open this gate? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I left sandwiches in a... Okay. Open. Oh, it's dark in here. Oh, there we go. Are we playing Monopoly? 
<laughs> Hats and ladders? Snakes and ladders? I, can't, I forgot. Hats and ladders. Sorry. That's... Uh, disregard that entirely. Acorn. Collect three tokens. Wild land card. Food card. Okay. Worm. Animal card. Collect four tokens. Am I just going to keep flipping to cards? Oh, hello. What the heck? Shuffle the food cards and place the stack face down in the center of the game board. Place the food tokens around the food cards on the board. Am I supposed to play a game? Like an actual game? In a, ga in a, a game in a game? In Gameception? What is this? Players choose their animal by rolling the dice. The highest roller chooses first. <clears throat> Okay. Here's, here's the beginning. No, really, what do we do with all this? Why, why are there a million things here? Oh my god, are these actually, like, all clues? Are these all clues? What is this? This is a mess. This is a whole mess. What? Please tell me those aren't clues. Board game rules and playing cards. Oh my god, what? Uh, I think this game beat me. <laughs> I think I lost. I think the game has beaten me. What the heck? What's this stuff? Oh, oh, it's the cylinder. Put it back. Put it back. Thank you. It's the cylinders for the, uh... Okay. For the photograph. I won't play anything because there's a cylinder in it, dummy. I knew that. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I wanted to turn the handle anyway. I think Sky fell asleep, honestly. Animal husbandry and rehabilitation. Oh my god. On the plus side, I guess it's nice to know that my dog's heartbeat is 120 and my cat's is 140 when they're awake. <laughs> no wonder my cat runs around like his butt is on fire. Uh, you'd be running too if your heart rate was 140. You'd be like, what the heck? <laughs> Why is my heart going so fast? Alright. How weed spread. Oh my god. This is like the most information... Like, in actual, like, words, not, like, clue. Like, well, I mean, they are clues, but not in, like, here's a color clue, here's a symbol clue. These are, like, the most wordy clues we've had so far. Oh, my goodness gracious, this is a lot. I'm not going to read all this to you guys, but... Oh, wait, wait, there's, there we go. Ocelletti, the thing I couldn't pronounce. There we go. A final, more mysterious example is the seed of the Ocelletti. It is known to be picked up by critters who then take it back to their nest. <clears throat> okay. As soon as the animal goes to sleep, the seed sprouts into bloom. It is not quite understood how the plant is able to detect when the creature is asleep by the heart rate. See? There we go. See, that's the clue we needed. Thank you. Not the rest of that. Okay. Um, critters that take it back to their nests. Okay, so we're looking for... First of all, let's go to the Ocelotti thing I can't pronounce. And we're going to put in the animal heartbeats. Um, the playing cards. Maybe the board game rules too, I imagine, because I don't know where else I would go. Weeds and seeds. And let's do the board game and see if I'm right. Yep. Okay. Alright, we, we're getting to one. Finally, because, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I have not found the seed packet, though. Oh, is it up here? Am I super? No. Where's the seed? Where are the seeds? What is this? Uh, William Floyd, educational and supply. Oh, okay. Um, classroom desks with chair 10. Classroom notebook box of 20. Chalkboard. Oh, she's just going to set up a school here? That's kind of cool. That's what it seems like, anyway. Uh, ink, blue, red, writing materials, display case, teaching desk. Four pounds. Oh! Wait, no. Four pounds, five shillings or silver? 
something. I still don't know what the D is in three, whatever the D one is. Oh, there's the seed. There are the seeds. I'm blind. I went. I walked straight past it. Why is the photograph still going? Oh my god, I, can I stop it? I feel bad now. Please stop. Please stop. Thank you. It's gonna break. Jeez. I'm so careless with my photograph. Alright. Um. My lord. Now my next question is great. I understand the the whole seed thing. Um, where the heck do I plant it? Okay, um, I guess we'll figure that out as we go. We're going to water this first. Okay. It's like, it's like, the, it's going to taunt me like that other one that took me a long time. It's not going to open. That's going to be fun. Okay, so if we're looking for, you can hold it, you can stay there for a second. I don't think it has to do with this, right? Like, oh, it does have to do with this. Okay. Okay, so it does have to, okay. Okay, 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 so everything we need is in this room. Everything we need is in this room, guys. Everything we need is right here. We got this. We got this, right? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so <clears throat> the Ocelotti is picked up by critters who take it back to their nests. Nests. Okay. So who does that? Um, Grace, I mean, squirrels do that, don't they? Forages food, but can also digest some seeds straight away. Okay, it takes it to its nest. And they live in burrows. Not in nest. Did it say nest? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta find one that describes somebody taking something back to a nest. Uh, they live in burrows. Nothing about seeds. So far only the squirrel I think said about seeds. Underground. Poor vision. No. Red squirrel. Okay, squirrels again. Yeah, they live in nests. There we go. High up in the trees. And they forage food back to the nest to keep for later. There we go. Okay, so red squirrel is probably the right answer, but we're going to keep checking. Stop it. Wood mouse. Okay, so the red squirrel lives in... Nests high up in the trees. Okay. okay, 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 okay. And then this thing that tells me the heart rates, red squirrel, 300 awake, 120 asleep. And we know that it has to sprout when it's asleep. Was it actually the one I picked up, which is hilarious to me? 120 is actually the one I picked up just to look at. It. Oh my god. Is there another one that's better? I don't think there is, but. Where does it? Hold on. I'm just gonna double check, but oh no, not that you plant, you stay there. One hundred easy triggers. You yeah, know, these are too slow. At least there's only five options if I'm wrong, so that's nice. But no, the other ones are just too—they're too slow. Yeah, it was real slow. Not That sounds nice. Okay. Oh, that one's half in the wall. Cool. Yay! We did it! I thought that one would be the worst one with all those animals and all that information. I thought that would be the worst one. That was the easiest one. Okay. Wow. I thought that would be the worst one, honestly, guys. That was the easiest one. In a while, actually. These two, though. These two, though. Where the heck is the side terrace? Did I just not go far enough yet? <laughs> Thank you, Lumeria. Thank you for the hype. I need that, because, oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Is the side stairs up here? Like, how am I still missing a place, a location? How is that? A, how is that possible? I've been here. This was this was the kitchen things. Uh huh. No, I've been here. It was locked from the other side, but I've been here. Where the heck is the side terrace? How am I still missing an area? This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. What? And I don't know what that handle was for still. I haven't figured it out. Man, I got two more flowers. Two more plants and it's gonna trip me up so bad. Just for two more. All right. We're gonna take a picture of that. That's that, I'm not remembering it. I, I refuse. I'm not doing it. Um. What's the point of it anyway? I don't understand anything. I think this is the one for the birds only because it's <clears throat> she's saying it's a flowering bush um, that used to grow in the gardens and the bird thing was talking about uh, different colored flowers so I'm gonna take a stab in the dark because I genuinely have no idea anymore guys I don't know I just don't know and we're gonna hope I'm right because I'm running out of ideas <laughs> slowly is it the news article? I don't remember. <coughs> bird seats for sure. The bird poster. The PH. I think that's everything. So if I'm if I'm right, then this would be all the stuff about the Morse code, which figures because it's the one I really want to see, and it would be the damn Morse code one. I could be wrong. I could have them backwards. I'm still missing clues and a seed packet. Like, where the heck is the side terrace it's talking about? Dun, 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 dun. I came up here. Okay. I was here. Hmm. Is it up there where I came from? Did I miss like a whole section? It can't be a big section. I don't want that much stuff missing. I can't go over here. I should have ended on my high of I I saved the disease tree. And I should have left it there. <laughs> it should have been my I did it guys, but no. Uh, this isn't the side terrace, is it? Is that what she calls this? I mean, I was up here already. I didn't see a seat. Let me see. This is the note from Jimmy. Or the, te that was a telegraph note. Never mind. This is the military codes. No, I did not want to sit. Thank you <laughs> for the, the seat. I wanted to see this again. This is, this is the, the note to Hazel. This is the nasty stuffs that all go together. But I just haven't figured out how yet. Hmm. That's the only thing I could think of that would be a side terrace. I don't know. Well, I came in from there, right? I didn't come up here. Right, I did not come up here. I came from this side. Okay, that's blocked off. This is the back of her house, I think. Right? So, oh, up here. See, there's stuff. Yeah, I didn't come up here. That was, there we go. Here's, this is the side terrace. Okay. So, that's a cute seed. I like that seed. It looks like a little tomato or something. Ooh, bioluminescence! <gasps> I'm excited. Okay. Wait. In the darker corners of our world, <coughs> excuse me, there are 
uh, plants and organisms that are able to produce their own light. These plants, fungi, and insects are often, are most often found in areas of low light, such as dark forests, deep oceans, and gloomy caves. Recent discoveries show that chemicals such as luciferin are responsible for the glowing effect. It is not known what this glowing effect is used for, but it could be for communication with others of the same species or to attract pollinators or food. Cool. Scientists believe there are many bioluminescent species waiting to be discovered. Am I about to discover one? Because I'm excited. That, ex that really got me excited. All right. I'm not even going to lie. What's that say? Chemical compounds in wildflowers. Okay. The luciferin is in the fool's gold. See, I said I wanted to see that one. Ooh. Stay away from poppies. Stay away from foxglove, which I could have told you before this game, by the way. I knew what that is already. Not sure about the other ones. Stay away from foxglove. <laughs> and poppies. Dangerous, dangerous flowers. Okay. So, <clears throat> the fool's gold... Uh, is the is the bioluminescent one? See, I saw it and I was like, I want to see this one. I knew I wanted to see it. And now I'm excited. I don't want to sit. Stop trying to make me sit. I want to see what's going on. Oh, look at the kitties! They're so cute. Sincerest greetings, dear Sarabella. I was delighted after our recent mentoring session. You do excellent work as a fellow scholar of the natural world. I recall the spring dance shrub. Oh, the one that I'm trying to grow that once grew so abundantly as a large climbing shrub over your garden. Yep, that was what I was talking about. Elsewhere, I have only ever seen it growing as a small seedling. I have been compiling plant specimens that require pollination and mature into their adult stage. I am certain the spring dance shrub could be one of these plants. Ever your affectionate friend, Livinia? Livinia? I don't know how to say that name. <clears throat> okay. I think we got all the plants. I mean, pff, all the plants, all the clues. Home. I think I put that in the wrong place because I'm smart like that. <laughs> oh, the Morse code is for the fool's emerald. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it, guys! I don't want it to be wrong. Okay, great. I have clues, guys. I still have no idea what I'm doing with any of. I have no clue how to make these two go. Not a damn clue. I have no idea. Okay, hold on. Spring dance show. I assume I have to use the bird, the only bird I've seen, which is the robin. It's not like I'm trying to attract a new bird, though I would have loved to grow blue hydrangeas. Um, I've only seen this annoying robin. Um, really quick, I am going to save the game and restart it in case I do need that second bird feeder that vanished. So we can actually get into it and finish. Um, so I'm going to do that really quick. Mm. But I, I genuinely don't even have an inkling. I just don't. Um, he said that. He said something about. It was a. What was it? It was um, an abbreviation for. I forgot the word. Appal apparent, apparently appalling. It was something app. Oh my god, I don't know. I have to go back to the letter, and this isn't my problem. I have to keep going back to the clues, because I don't remember half of them by the time I find them all. And then I'm like, well, what am I doing? <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go back to the side area here, because I feel like this is where all the Morse code stuff was. And let's plant that one first, question mark. Mm.
I don't want to do this one first because I'm... That's not near here. Oh, God, my head. I don't know, guys. Oh, no, I don't know. All right. We're going to do the shrub here. <clears throat> we'll see. <clears throat> Boy, isn't the pH... Oh, that is for the pH. Never mind. I was like, isn't the pH station here? Yeah. And then... It's back there, the pH station. So it's going to grow back here. Actually, oh, but it may not have to... Oh, it may not be in the terracotta. I forgot. Shoot. Oh, no! What the... Well, that lives back there now. No. <laughs> White spring day. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. I, I got it. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Uh, the pH was on the, blah, the table that was like up here. Or something. Yeah, it was over here. So if I'm trying to get the robin, and I don't know if I am trying to get the robin, guys, I'm really not sure. I need a 12 to 14 pH. I'm not sure what the objective is here because there's the robin. Am I trying to get a different bird? Am I trying to... Oh, that's not real. Oh, Am I trying... I was faked out by a metal bird. <laughs> like, what am I... What am I doing, guys? This tells me the different colors, which I already know. And then there was something that told me the pH for the, the pots. And I have no idea where that was anymore. Nope, this is all military codes. Where was that thing? All the way in the back? Yep. <clears throat> of course it was. Why wouldn't it be? Why not make me run in circles? I gotta take pictures. So I don't have to keep doing this. I don't want to do this to you guys. I don't want to do this to me. Alright, so we're going to just do this. I'm going to have like a million photos on my phone by the end of the stream and I'll be like looking at it tomorrow. Why the heck do I have these pictures? <laughs> and I'll be like, oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, <clears throat> those are the two I needed. Back we go. Let me see what I'm looking at. So if I need a 12, uh, 12 to 14, the only combination that works when I only see one that makes me happy, because usually that means it's the answer, um, but I could still be very wrong, <laughs> to be fair. Um, it's telling me I need the sandstone and I need seaweed. Uh, this was the sandstone, I believe. Inspect the empty pot. Inspected. Anyway. No. Oh, I can't look while I'm holding it. That's irritating. Well, it's in order, right? Terracotta. <laughs> Hold on. It's going to bother me. Let me make sure. Let me make sure, guys. That's the sandstone. Yeah, it's not the marble. Okay. I'm like, let me check. Wait, hello? I, I said pick it up. Okay. And we go back to the potting station. Very slowly, apparently. Run, woman, run. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we put that there. Potting soil. Shrub. And we already have a spring dance shrub. It does not say white like the other one did. The other one specifically told me it was a white one. This one just says it's the shrub. So now, we're going to put it here. I didn't water it, did I? Did I water it, guys? I don't think I watered it. Do I water it after? I, let, let's just try this. I don't know. <clears throat> and I needed seaweed, I think, to get 13.2, which is the only one above 12. So let's try. Let's see. If I do it in the wrong order, we just redo it. It's not the end of the world. Um. We put the seaweed on. Let's water our plant. Because I probably did it in the wrong order. But that's okay. No, I guess it didn't matter. It grew. Okay. Whoop. 
Wait, what? It closed again. <laughs> okay, so we have a red one. I mean, it hasn't, it's not a huge, like, shrub, like it said. So, but does it have to do with the birds? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Hmm. We got the pH thing now. I just don't know if it's correct or not. Was there a place to, like, put it down so it could grow? What, what are we saying no to, Lumeria? What happened? Did I miss something? Is there a place to put it? Like, does she want it sprouting somewhere specifically? I know I had all this stuff here. Oh no, guys, the other one didn't come back. <gasps> the other bird feeder's gone forever. Probably just saved the game, to be fair, but... It's supposed to be here? Yeah, it's supposed to be here. I guess. But I gotta go get the bird feeder. Do I have to, like, lure the birds slowly now? Like, uh. Oh, sorry. I don't know why it's a big delay in chat, but sorry about that. Um. I didn't put it to a big delay, so I don't know what's going on. More tech issues to figure out for tomorrow. That's fine. Okay, the other bird feeder didn't come back, so I'm concerned that this bird is not going to follow this one feeder the whole way, but we're going to try. Hey, birdie. Come eat over here, please. Because it's the only one I got. Oh, wait, there was one. There's a few closer. There's at least one closer, my bad. Yeah, because I think it has to hop from one to the other. Man, guys, what am I going to do? I don't have the other bird feeder. Can I not finish the game now? I'm going to be really sad. Can I do it with one bird feeder? I don't think I can. I don't know if it's stupid YouTube, honestly, or stupid Streamlabs, because, like, I was telling somebody on Wednesday that they subscribed on Wednesday, and, like, my Streamlabs still has not acknowledged that they have subscribed. Like, my phone had to alert me that somebody subscribed, because Streamlabs wasn't telling me anything. So, yeah. I, I, don't, so I don't know if it's Streamlabs, if it's YouTube, but something is dumb and not working correctly. I cannot believe the other one is just gone. And I don't know what to do now. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck? What the heck, guys? What the heck, guys? <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, you may not be able to finish this. I don't know what to do if it doesn't come back. Do they have like a I'm stuck, something happened kind of thing by any chance? Like a reset? Do they have that since it's a new game? Nope. I was just here. What am I doing? <laughs> oh no, I was in motion sickness. Okay. Nope. I don't know if there's another way to get another one. I haven't seen any other ones anywhere. The only one I saw was uh, the one at the beginning and then the one that was sitting here. Um, but it's gone. Into thin air. It just vanished into thin air. It literally did. I tried putting it back on the little table and it was gone. And I'm hoping against all hope that the bird's going to just go to the next one but I don't think so I think the objective of this puzzle from what it looks like to me and I could be wrong is it would hop from the bird feeder 
to the next bird feeder because every time I pick up the bird feeder, it's going home right now. Oh, wait, what's this? Did I see this before? Oh, wait, nope, we got more, we got more Downton Abbey tea. Hold on, we got more drama, and then we'll be sad about the bird feeder again, I guess. Thank you so much for the lovely bunch of rhubarb from your nephew's garden. He needn't have it. He needn't have sent anything in return for the herbal poultice. Poultice? I gave him for his little one, but I'm grateful all the same. I know he hasn't the money to fetch the doctor. Should you, since you said he cannot read a note, please send him my thanks when you see him. Oh, no. Faithfully yours, Hazel. Okay. But yeah, um, so every time I pick up the bird feeder, uh, the bird goes back to his home. See, he's sitting right there, and he's not even going here, and it's not even that far away. So there's no way I'm going to be able to do this with one, if I'm correct. And that's, see, because now he flew down, but if I grab that one, he's going to fly away. The point was to have the second one here for him to fly to that one, I think. That's what it seems like. Hey, Botany Manor, what do I do? What do I do now, guys? Help. <laughs> well, I should go just move his birdhouse. But I don't think he'd like that too much. <laughs> There's no bird feeders here. Uh, this was the one I messed up on, but that's okay. I made a little shrub. It started sprouting, but it's not gonna finish without the bird, it seems. And I don't know why I'm going behind the shrubs, but I am. And I can't get the bird. Um, so I guess we'll try and figure out the bioluminescence. And I don't know. Maybe that'll resolve itself if I exit again at some point. I, I really don't know if I can reset that. That sucks. That seriously sucks. There's nothing here that is similar to that either. <clears throat> I don't see any of the bird feeders. I wish I just put it on one of the metal things, even that would have been better than where it ended up, which sucks. Alright, and then the Fool's Emerald, Bioluminescence, Military Codes, Morse Code. Oh, I didn't look at the article, I don't think. Alright, let's go back. Where was the side terrace again? Oh, it's up there. <clears throat> Let's get all this, all these clues and all this information. I don't think I need the actual bioluminescence book. Like, it has bioluminescence. That I get. Um, pretty sure I don't need this either. I know it's the Luciferin, <clears throat> but I'll take it anyway. And then, that's not anything else, right? No. I need to get to the news article and the telegraph, which was down at the bottom, just to make sure there's nothing else I need from it. Telegraph you asked for. There appears to be more code manual inside the case as well. Okay, but that doesn't tell me about that abbreviation thing that I saw. Where was that? Uh, was this letter right? Nope, that's the lawn. This just talks about the codes itself, right? Oh, wait. Was it attention? Was that the word? Hold on. Is it in that letter and I'm crazy and I'm just glossing over it? Little overlook by boat. I left it at the boathouse since I didn't know where you were. Uh, no. Okay, it's the article. Where's the article? This is the gardening workspace. Where's the news article? News article? News article? Am I missing it? It's not in there. 
Anybody know where that article went? <laughs> Something else disappeared on me? This is the workspace. Is it out here? No. Is it over here somewhere? No. Is it like all the way over here? I think it was over here. Yeah, there it is. Jeez. Um, actually, this is... No, this is... Yeah, attention. Okay, abbreviation, attention. Okay, so I need attention. There we go. That was the article. <clears throat> Which I think it said was K-A. Uh, we're going to go back. Uh, attention, K-A. Yeah, message begins. Okay. Let me just... So KA is what I need. I have no idea where that plant goes, but we're gonna we're gonna go look. Um, we're gonna plant first. Hello, there we go. <laughs> Didn't want to come out. <clears throat> okay, plant the fool's emeralds. I'm the fool for for all for dealing with. I don't even know. Uh, so many problems. Okay. We're gonna go this way because the boathouse is down here. I just don't know where this plant goes. I didn't see a place for it to grow, so I'm gonna have to go look. <clears throat> I probably missed it, but because I know there's this, you know, this is set up obviously. I still don't know what this handle was for either, which makes me suspicious. This is here, but there's nowhere to put the pot <clears throat> hmm oh look another duck do we find all the ducks in this cave now which duck is this Egyptian goose oh excuse me it's a goose not a duck my bad <clears throat> is that really everything I mean this had one there but like everywhere has had a very blatant, intentional place. Wait a minute, the sound travels, right? Okay. How far? Was there any place to put a pot that was vacant? Was there a place up here that I missed? Uh, no. No. I must have missed a spot uh, where the plants sit and like where the transmission will be heard from. I just don't know where that should be. Also, it's bioluminescence, so it should be somewhere dark, theoretically, which this is, but again, there's nowhere to place. I mean, I could put it there, but that's not. Hmm. For now, I'm going to put it here, but I'm just confused by that. Okay, let's check out the manual again. So it's... Jesus. This is going to be the most annoying part of it all. Well, no, because I still don't know where the plant goes, to be fair. So I guess that's more annoying. <laughs> I gotta figure that out, too. Okay, so it's dash, dot, dash, dot, dash. Oh, that's actually not that bad. All right, so... Dash, dot, dash, dot dash. Okay. Does it grow here? Not supposed to be here, to be fair. So. Hmm. Is there anywhere else to place a pot? Nope. Nope. And there was nowhere inside the boathouse either, except for where the phonograph was, and we did that one. And see, now in hindsight, I'm kind of happy I never moved my plants from where I grew them, because if I had moved it, I would be like, oh, it goes there. No. And I would have forgotten that something else had like already grown there or something, and it would have been really annoying. Wait, is this supposed to grow like here? And like fix this or something? I don't think so. 
Oh, wait, the handle, the handle, the handle, the handle. Oh, shoot, I left that all the way down by the boathouse, didn't I? Dang it. Damn it, Nicole, why do you do this to yourself? Can I just, I'm just going to leave it here for now because I genuinely don't know where that's supposed to grow. Um, unless it grows here by this stuff. But I mean, I think that that potter is just, that thing is just there to put in the additives for this, for the shrub, I think. I think. I feel like it'd be weird if it grew over here, although it is, it's a little dark, I guess. It's not like dark, dark. I'm expecting like a really dark place for it to grow, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's go get the handle that I stupidly put all the way down this way. Which I don't think was that far away. I may have to check that, um, that shrub. I may have to look it up just to make sure I'm right about how it grows with the bird. Because if I can't get that bird feeder, then we're not going to finish. Like, there's no way. If it's glitched out and I can't get it, I'm not going to start from the beginning just for the bird feeder. So we may not be able to finish, which would really suck because this has been so much fun. And I've gotten through a lot. Uh, and my head has hurt plenty. and I've messed up plenty, but it's been fun. So it would suck if I couldn't see, like, the end of the game after all this, but, I mean, I don't, I don't know. There we go. Yay! All right, well, we got the water working again. Gotta have that water feature. It's pretty. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, wait, what? Hello? Oh. <gasps> a dark place! Wait a minute. Oh my god! And there's the last potter plate plant I needed. Okay. That's so pretty. Get out. That is so pretty. I'm glad I brought the plant all the way back, considering I was in the wrong place. Whee. And then I have to go do the Morse code, I guess? Um, okay. I'm still sad we're not gonna get the other one, though. Like, I'll try a reset again, but like, um, it didn't work. So I'm kind of sad. I really wanted to finish the game. And I want to see what that plant looks like. Like, all pretty and done. I mean, I'll just watch someone else's stream, obviously. But, like, that's not the point. I, don't, I wanted to watch it online. <laughs> and it sucks that it feels like it feels like unfinished. You know? But let's see. I'm not going to give up hope yet. We'll try again. But let's do this one first that we know should work. Assuming I did it right. So we do dash dot dash dot dash. Do I have to run back to see if it's done? Because I'm not going to hear the pretty music from over here. It's too far away. i got to run all the way back and hope I'm right. Yeah, see, you get it, Lumeria. So it's, it kind of sucks. It just, it just vanished. Because at least the glitch we had on Wednesday, like, when we got out, it, everything kind of fixed, and we were okay. But this one, nope. Not so much. Nothing. Dang it! <laughs> what did I do wrong? <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the, the clues. Hold on. Okay, so that... The news article definitely said Mor Morse code attention. I know that's what it said. Attention is K-A. That's what I did. Let's go read the rest of that book real quick. Hang on. Maybe there's something else I missed that, other than just the numbers, or other than just the letters. Over long distance. Okay. All right, we know about the Morse code.
Okay. Well, none of that really helped me anymore. It's just telling me, like, okay, it's Morse code. Cool, we know that. Over long distance, yeah, we know that. And it's really just based on the word. Abbreviation and prosigns. Am I just doing it wrong because I don't know how to do Morse code? Because <laughs> I don't. Like, is it supposed to have more space in between the the da dashes and dots? Or, I don't know. Let's see. This is going to be the worst one. I'm going to have to keep running back and forth because I'm not going to know if I did it or not. It's a very long distance. They're not wrong. We're doing it over long distance. I need a shortcut for this long distance. Open. <laughs> I don't need to close, but is there something else I'm missing? No. Nope. Okay. Dash dot dash dot dash. Okay. So I did it, isn't it? Did I do it wrong? Close it for good measure. Oh, I can take it with me. Stupid. Stupid. I'm probably too far away. I know I can take it with me. How far do I go? I know it goes over long distance, and it probably told me how far to go in that book, but I couldn't figure it out from the image. <laughs> Is there anywhere that looks like it should hold a telegram? <laughs> telegram. Wee. That's fun. Okay. Here, perhaps? No. What? Oh, come on. No. Are you serious? Every time I try to put something down. Oh, my God, guys. Seriously? If this is it, this might be it, guys. I'm so sorry if this is it. It's it's not my fault. I apologize. Oh, it came back! Wait, look at the weird spot it's in. Maybe that's how the bird cage is. The bird feeder. We'll have to go check. Man, I don't even know where to put this down, but I'm scared to put it down now. What the heck? Oh, guys, what... No, really, what is going on? Okay, I'm pretty close now. I feel like I shouldn't be this close, but I am close. I'm scared to put it down, guys. I don't... I don't know where it's supposed to go, so I'm scared of putting it down. Is there somewhere... There's no, there's no like... Play. Okay, there's, ta there's a table over here, so let's do the table. Hope for the best. Because, oh my god. Okay, at least it shows me an out outline. Oops, wrong button. Okay, we're safe. Okay. Okay, we're safe. It's down. We're safe. Oh my god. I just don't know if this is the right area either. What am I missing, guys? I'm missing something. I'm missing something. The Morse code is not going to make it grow. I'm missing something. What am I missing? The plant chemical is the bioluminescent one. What am I missing, guys? What am I not understanding about this? K. 
cast from the cave entrance. Is that, does it have to cast the light on the entrance? I don't think it's going to happen. Um. What I saw was the Morse code abbreviation for attention. I don't want to pick it up again, man. I'm scared. Hold on. Is it supposed to be here? Like, no. Because if we're talking about casting the light, first of all, that's a tiny light bulb, so it's not going to cast. But is it supposed to be like here? Like, I, don't, I, I can't remove this now. And I don't think it's going to go on the ground. So how do I get the Morse code to like... What am I missing, guys? Let's see. Do I take it into the cave? I feel like that's too short range, but I... I I'm afraid of moving it. Oh my god. Wish me luck. No, you know what? I'm not even going to wish me luck. I'm going to save the damn game. I'm going to save the damn game. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do this Pokemon paranoia style from the 90s, and we're going to save it every few seconds and make sure we don't lose our damn telegraph again. That's what we're going to do. Am I supposed to do it in here with the plant? I mean, there's space here, so maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's try There we go. I hear pretty music. <gasps> I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god! <gasps> See, this isn't the same as watching someone else stream this. Like, I love that. Oh my god, look at everything green. Sky, where are you? Everything's green. <laughs> the fool's gold. The fool's gold. The fool's emerald is a vine that contains luciferin, which allows it to create light. They grow in caves where they use the light to communicate with each other, very much like Morse code. Oh my god, that's so pretty. I'm leaving it alone. I'm not touching a damn thing. I'm not touching a damn thing. How about from here? Oh, look, it's glowing. That's so pretty. Okay. <sighs> Guys, we're gonna, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're gonna, we're gonna try. I don't know if that bird feeder is coming back. I don't know if it's like the, um, the telegraph where it's, maybe it's just hiding in plain sight on the side. Like that was like halfway in a wall. Maybe it's halfway in a bush. I don't know. If you see it, yell. But I did not see anything. I'm going to literally close all the way out or try it again. Man, we're one plant from the end, guys. One plant. And we know how to do it. I think. I think I, I, think I have the right combination of things in the plant itself to grow once the bird gets to it. But, like, guys, one plant is going to ruin the whole damn stream. <laughs> We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Everybody, cross all your fingers and toes. Pray to whatever God or universe you believe in. <laughs> Hope for the best. <laughs> See what we get. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I just want to finish the game. I'm enjoying it. I love it. It's pretty. I just want to finish it. And the game said no. <laughs> oh no. I'm like nervous. I'm barely moving. It's such a low loading. It's such a slow loading screen too. Oh my God, I can't speak. All right. 
All right, guys. <clears throat> I know it's up here. The bird is in this one again because it's as far as he's going to go from his little home without the other one. There's nothing here. <coughs> Alright, we're going to go real slow, guys, because it's not on the table. I'm going to click around, see if I can reclaim it from the ether. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want you. You're not helping me. Oops, I sat down. Didn't want to do that. Thank you. <clears throat> Nothing. Anybody see it reappear magically? <laughs> Just like it disappeared? Guys, we, this might be the end. We might be dead now. <laughs> that might be it. I'm sad. I'm genuinely sad. I'll never even know if I actually solved this puzzle. Well, yeah, I will. I'll watch someone else's, but... Man, I am very sad about this. It's, like, nowhere. Like, it couldn't have even just shown up on this one, like... Oops, you dropped it, and it just populates in the closest thing, but... No. <clears throat> I am not seeing it anywhere, you guys. I don't think you crossed your fingers and toes hard enough. <laughs> wow, I'm really sad. Alright. What do you think, guys? Do you think there's any, any hope here of finding... Our mysteriously lost bird feeder? Or do you think we should call it? I'm still looking. I'm searching along this whole area. Just in case. Clicking like crazy in case something wants to magically pop into my hand. <clears throat> the frantic clicking. I apologize to anybody who tries to watch this VOD. <clears throat> I mean, I haven't seen anything and I'm clicking like crazy. So like if I highlight it, it should go off. Um, but I don't even see like a highlight saying like, Click A. Like, there's, there's just nothing here. I'm clicking like mad. We lost it back there, but... I don't, I don't see anything. Oops, sorry. That was, that was bad. <laughs> that was just bad navigating on my part. <clears throat> that's a seat. That's the only thing that's going to highlight, which I don't want to take. I do not want to take a seat. But thank you. That's the poster. Plants, pots, things that we know about. What? What the heck? Okay. Nope. Some sunlight. <laughs> Try to click the sunlight. Apparently. <clears throat> Dang. Well, guys, this is our sad little seed. That wasn't given the chance to bloom. We will mourn it. It was, which one? The, um, the spring dance shrub. It shall never dance again. It, it, man, that's. Hi, Bailey. Oh, you came right at the end because, um, well, we lost our bird feeder, um, into the magical ether of the glitch world. And uh, we cannot make this flower sprout now, or bloom, whatever. 
So uh, we found every other plant. This was the last plant, and we have no bird feeder to finish the puzzle. So we might be calling the stream now. Yeah, this is the second glitch with this game I've had. The first one, luckily, we were able to reset the game and everything kind of went back to normal. We're like, all right, cool, we're good, we got this, let's do it. And we moved on and we got the, the, the bloom and we moved on to the next plant. We've reset the game twice now. And um, yeah, there's no bird feeder, it just vanished. So I'm really sad because I can't finish the game now without restarting the game, which I am not doing right now this hour. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, Bailey, you're definitely right about that. I, I agree, unfortunately, with that statement, but, um, I don't know if it's better on the PC or not, but this has, this is my second glitch, and it's a game-breaking glitch. It's not even like, oh, look, that's funny. This is like, I can't finish the game, which is very upsetting. Yeah, I'm really upset, and I'm gonna watch someone else's stream to watch this flower, but, like, I'm really sorry to everybody who's stuck around and I can't finish the game because that sucks. But, um, I, so yeah, we're looking at it. We're mourning our little flower here, our little seedling that didn't get to grow. We are mourning it for a moment, moment of silence for it. I will say this this game has some very good ASMR though. <laughs> it's very, very peaceful game. Uh sounding game anyway. But yeah. Um I hope so. I don't know if I I don't know if it'll like backtrack. Like because <laughs> the game is saved and everything. So like will it backtrack and just magically reappear when I open it one day? That'd be cool. Um I don't know. But this is our poor sad little flower. Um, this is where the bird feeder should have been by the end. For the bird to come and, you know, pollinate and, like, make it grow. And we were over here. And we searched for the last ten minutes or so frantically. Just, just pressing A everywhere. Hoping it would just magically reappear. But it was here. On this table. And it is no longer there. The bird feed is. But I uh, can't do anything with uh, the bird feeder. So, cool. Um, yeah. I'm really bummed about that. I was looking so forward to this game and I can't even finish it. So that sucks. It is really pretty. It's a very, very pretty game. Um, and I did enjoy playing the game. I won't, I, I'm not going to take anything away from the game for the fact that, like, it, it's beautiful. The puzzles were challenging. I, if you watch the first part of this stream of the of the Botany Manor game streams. Oh my god, I got stuck for so long. Like they're good puzzles. They're, it was really really well done and smartly done. Um, but yeah, uh, there's only one bird feeder, and I need two to complete the puzzle for him to like hop from one to the other. And he's just stuck in this one now forever because I don't have another one for him. Um, but it is beautiful. We'll take a little walk around the gardens for a minute because it's very pretty. Um, as we say goodbye to Botany Manor, um, at least on my streams. Game just released. Really yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And, um, and it's definitely more likely for the indie devs because they only have so many people working in their games. Though, to be fair, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is a AAA game. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, yeah, we're we're bidding it adieu, <laughs> but that's okay. Tomorrow we will be back with an all new game. Um, hopefully less glitchy, although it is also a new game. So we'll see. Um, Games Freak is just a small indie dev. I can't. I'm finished. Get out. <laughs> um. But there are definitely some really beautiful parts of this game. Like, I can't lie. It's it's a beautiful game. And, like, I love that there were, like, little places you could just sit. And she could just relax. And you could, like, just listen to the sounds. And it's, like, just completely chill. Like, it's just chill vibes. Like, I could just sit here. 
and listen to the sounds anytime I want. So, I'm, like, honestly, if I'm, like, doing homework or if I'm working from home, I might boot up the game just to sit on a bench and listen to the sounds because it's pretty. And it's very relaxing. So this is, like, really good background sounds. Um, but, yeah, so it is really pretty. And it is very sweet. And I do like that, like, the sounds increase and the music inc gets louder. Like, all of it gets louder because you're not doing anything. You're idle. So that's, that's really sweet. But, um... My biggest win today, guys, like, I couldn't finish the game, but my biggest win is still this tree, because that diseased tree was freaking me out, it was gross, I, it was just blech, and I hated it, so my big win is fixing that tree. <laughs> Thank you, Bailey, I hope you have a good night, too, I hope you had a really great stream, I enjoyed the beginning, it was a lot of fun. Guys, if you don't follow Bailey, follow Bailey, she's awesome. So, I do not know how to do commands at the moment, so sorry. <laughs> I suck. But yeah, pretty. These are sapphire gloom mushrooms. They're so pretty. These came out really nice. So, this was my big win. I don't have to look at the ugly tree anymore. This was my big win for today. Um, oh, you got piggies! Get out. I love it. That's so cute. I'm going to save the game again. I love that. You got piggies? What'd you name the piggies? You named them after the moths. Amazing. Thank you, Lemuria. I really wish we could have finished the game. I am... I think I'll just... I might throw it to the outro for five minutes just to get the three-hour mark because I'm really sad that this is under three hours because I couldn't finish that last flower, but that's okay. Um, tomorrow we will be back. I'm going to try and uh, play Sophia the Traveler, um, which just came out uh, yesterday. Again, hopefully not too many glitches. Um, it's a Where's Waldo kind of game, if you've never heard of it or you didn't look it up or see it recently, because it's pretty new. And uh, honestly, I don't think I heard about it until like a week before its release. So, I mean, I'm sure it existed, I just didn't know about it. So, we're going to try and do some like Where's Waldo type of thing uh, with Sophia the Traveler in Venice. And uh, I loved the cuteness of the game, but it also brought me back back because I saw Venice and I'm like oh okay I'm buying this game because I miss Venice it's beautiful I enjoyed being there so it's gonna give me a little little nostalgia so we're gonna play that tomorrow so I hope everybody comes by tomorrow I hope we don't have any more audio issues tomorrow <laughs> or glitches in our game today's been a fun day of just tech issues in the stream but it's okay so I will see you guys all back tomorrow have a great night morning rest of your day uh, thank you all again. Please like and subscribe. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.